The top three issues that we continue to look at haven't changed since the first time I ran for election. We need to figure out what can legally be done to help make uh, traffic a little bit more uh, aware of its uh, village nature of our community and how can we uh, encourage everybody to operate as a village instead of a highway. The second is we have some opportunities to change how we are developing, but we have to comply with the law. So we need to figure out the best way to do that. And third, now that our community has finished redevelopment, we have beautiful facilities both at the city level and at our school district level, and how we can best use all of them to help all our residents. Everybody you talk to in Coronado thinks one of the solutions is to put a hawk light on 3rd and 4th. The problem is it's not safe to do so yet. The city agrees with you. We have requested Caltrans investigate putting those in. We've even offered to pay for them. The problem is, unlike some other streets, there is poor visibility approaching the intersections where we would want to put a hawk light. And the engineers at, at Caltrans, who are the experts in traffic planning, tell us we have to find a way to either increase visibility or change the direction drivers are looking at before they approach such an intersection. Many people have commented to me that we are seeing more respect as people are leaving the base, letting people cross the lettered streets as they're leaving on 4th. Um, we need to do more of that. We need to appreciate the effort the commanding officer of the base has made and the many uh, commuters that are departing the base uh, are exercising, but we need to keep encouraging more of that. One of the ways we've done that through the years since I was first elected in 2004 is we're turning 3rd and 4th into streets that remind people it's not a highway. We have now uh, put parking back on 3rd and 4th and narrowed the driving lanes. One of the ways you can change driving behavior is to have drivers themselves realize their behavior needs to accommodate the surroundings. So making the lanes more narrow reminds them they're not on a freeway. We need to work on other opportunities to keep our facilities uh, first class and to make our residents um, aware of what options are there and, and make it so people have choices and the school district and the city can work together to open up all our facilities for everyone in Coronado to use.